Hi everyone, it's me Shadia Wade and welcome back to BP Vlogs. I'm going to go on a bit of a rant here um, just because this affects members of my family. But the crisis in Gaza and how things are going there uh, affects me because I have uncles and aunts who live in Gaza and have lived there since, you know, I was like seven. And I remember visiting them and I remember seeing them again when I was 12. And, you know, being in their home and just remembering, like, how, you know, just away from stuff it was to now where it's being bombarded by air raids and just mass uh, killings is just outright outrageous, the amount of people who have died since the the beginning of 2000 to present is outrageous. I haven't been able to go and see my family out there for the fact that I was in the service and for the fact that there's always been conflict since I turned 18. So I couldn't in any state go to visit my family that's out there. Um, because we had 9-11 hit, and we had my father pass away, my uncle pass away, and so many crises inside my family. And as I was growing up into adulthood, that I just could not go and know that I would be safe, and know that things at home were all right, and that I would be safe if I left, and that they would be safe if I left. And so... I'm just kind of hoping and just praying a lot about what is going on with my family out there and hoping that they're safe and praying that they are safe and that they're able to get away. Um, if you don't know, Gaza is landlocked. Uh, by Israel forces on all sides. The only side that isn't landlocked is ocean and people are shot on site on the beaches and bombed on site on the beaches. So there's no real means of escape from this terrible war zone that is Gaza right now. You also know about Syria and the things going on there and how there's chemical warfare being put towards civilians who have no means of defending themselves or preventing themselves from being hit by this nerve agent and just thousands of people dying every day and here I am in the United States and yes I'm safe but I want my nation to act I want to have my president say that this is enough we form the United Nations to protect ourselves from this kind of situation and we're just having mass genocide of people whether it's by race, creed, color, religion, gender, sex it doesn't matter it's mass murder and I just can't see a reason for it and you know me being a person who is mentally ill and suffers with a mental illness and, you know, it, it, this just gets me riled up. And, you know, I am making it my mission to contact my members of the Senate and my congressmen to... <sighs> And my house representatives, my congressmen, I, I want action. I don't want excuses because Israel is our ally. But do we really want to be partnered up with people who commit mass murder based off of a credo that Palestinians are the problem? Because 
It wasn't that long ago that Jews were the problem. There is no way or no path to re rectifying this situation besides going in there and stopping the violence, stopping the hate, and making people realize that human beings are human beings no matter what religion they practice, no matter what color their skin is, no matter what gender they are, no matter what sexual preference they have, that these things, these things alone, do not matter when it comes to a human life. Life is to be lived, not to be denied. And by denying people the right to live, you are denying the future, you are denying whatever potential there is for the next generation to take on a uh, a better way of living and sustaining our planet. You know, you just take all that away. And I just... I just want to hear that there's going to be some action taken. That our alliance with Israel will be crushed in some fashion until they can understand that what they're doing is the exact thing that was done to them when is when Jews lived in Germany, when Jews lived in Austria and other parts of Europe, and the genocide that was committed upon those people by Nazis, by Adolf Hitler. They're doing the same thing and calling it by a different name. This is supposed to be retribution for children who were in Gaza who died. Instead of committing mass murder, you should be going and policing people. Instead of brutality, you should be searching out and investigating the murders of those individuals instead of assuming that everyone is guilty. And, you know, just think people. Think. Use your brains. They're put there before your heart so you can use them because your heart is going to run off emotion alone and you're supposed to think before your emotions take control. Now, uh, I'm done with my little rant. Personally, I'm healthy. I've gained some weight. Um, I'm trying to lose it, um, just because I know that, you know, if you're overweight, sometimes it's hard to get pregnant, and, um, I want to combat that by losing some weight, so I'm planning on losing, like, 30 pounds, um, 30 or 40 pounds at least, and just, you know, take a break from eating all the junk that I've been eating because I'm stuck in a house 24-7. Um, I am trying to get out more and I'm probably, when it's not raining, because it's raining today, but I'm probably going to start, um, you know, walking while Lonzo rides his bike. Uh, around our neighborhood and just kind of do that for a few days along with some easy workout stuff just to burn off some calories and some fat and just do that and see what happens and you know my husband I don't know if he notices it or not if I've gained weight but I know that I've gained weight because I checked periodically um, and some of my clothes, well, just my pants, really, tend to be a little tight around the waist, so, we'll see. Um, I am still working toward prepping my physical and mental and emotional health for baby. Um, you know, I'm, I'm constantly getting baby 
thrown in my face. <laughs> Um, I've had friends call me up and tell me they're pregnant. I've heard um, through other friends that other friends are pregnant, you know, just constantly had people pop up with pregnancies. And it's really hard on me because it's like I have to wait until I'm physically, mentally and emotionally ready as well as financially ready to have a child. Um, whereas, you know, Everyone else can just say, well, I'm financially ready and just go on and have a baby. And even if they're caught off guard, they can plan within those uh, 40 weeks to have the money they need for uh, said child. Um, but I'm just, I'm really, I love babies. I love kids, and I just, I can't wait. Sometimes it's just so hard, and it's just really draining trying to not bombard my husband with, like, questions of, when are we going to have a baby? When are we going to have a baby? Uh, when can we start trying? When are we going to have a baby? Um, because that's not fair to him. Um, but that's what goes on in my head, uh, every day is like, man, I want a baby. I want one now. I want to be pregnant now. I want to start prepping for a baby now. And that's not realistic because I can't do this without his support. And if I'm constantly nagging him about it, he's more reluctant to do it. Um, it was the same way with getting engaged and getting married and all this stuff <laughs> because I would just bombard him with the question of when, when, when. And, you know, I'm trying really hard to be respectful of his feelings and um, how he views the matter and just be patient and just be understanding overall of the fact that things are different for him because men and women are just built differently mentally, emotionally, and physically. Um, we're just brought up to be different. Um, so <sighs> that's where I'm at. I hope that every single one of you is having a great day. I hope that you enjoy your weekend as we run into the weekend. And I'm just, I'm glad that I'm able to spend time with you even when it's just sporadically. Um, I hope that these little clips of my life are influential or helpful or insightful to people. I don't know. I only have like a few um, subscribers and it, like each video has like only a handful of views except for a few. And usually the ones that get the most views are the ones where I'm breaking down. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know that that's a good thing. <laughs> but anyway, take care, stay tuned, and keep watching. Bye.